Jenny Lassard. I'm a chef and culinary consultant, and I'm very excited to be at the Dakota Dunes Resort on the White Cap Dakota First Nation with sous chef Kirk Ermine. Hello and good afternoon. 21 years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes and trying to understand the effects of food on our bodies led me to understanding nutrition and got me excited about what I'm putting in my body. Today we're gonna to be making a three sister salad. We're gonna roast the corn in the squash with canola oil. And then we'll make a cilantro vinaigrette using canola oil and apple cider vinegar. Sounds delicious and healthy. Let's get started. Today we're using butternut squash. It's um, a very hearty squash and you can apply different flavors and that'll hold. And the natural sugars that occur in the squash are really good for roasting. Beautiful color too. Nice and vibrant. Could Com you use another kind of squash if you couldn't find butternut? Acorn squash, uh, probably one of the more common ones in Saskatchewan. So with the Three Sisters, why it's called Three Sisters is when you grow the plants together, they actually depend on one another. So how does that work? You plant the corn and then the beans grow up the corn and then the squash will be at the bottom? Yes, actually. And with the squash and the thistle on the squash actually protects it from bugs. Oh, interesting. And it pr provides shade and moisture for the ground. Oh, nice. Like natural bug repellent yeah. and fertilizer. I like using canola oil because it's uh, flavor neutral. Oh, and any ingredients that we add that are gonna carry, it'll carry a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, so how much? We have a recipe, but you're just doing a, sh a shloosh, right? A, a little a... shloosh, about a tablespoon, <laughs> a pinch of pepper, a pinch of salt. Okay. I love cooking with brightly colored vegetables. I feel like it just does something mm. for my spirit. In traditional senses that w when we're sad or lonely, we go look at, we go somewhere that's pretty and we bring that good feeling back with us. Yeah. So your food should be the same way, Amazing. pretty, so that you're taking something pretty in, you feel pretty. Nice. All right, the next step is to add some green. So I noticed in the recipe you used parsley, today we have cilantro. Could you substitute another aromatic like dill perhaps, or what do you suggest? You could, it really depends on what kind of flavor profile you like. Me personally, I like the cilantro. I, I just find it to be a little more pungy. What's this technique called when you bunch up the herbs? And it's then just bunching up the bunching herbs. Bunching up chiffonade. Yeah. Find Wood. ice. So we're going to use about two tablespoons of oil. Okay. We're going to use a tablespoon and a half of the apple cider vinegar. We're going to go with three pinches of sugar. Just a touch, eh? we got to be diabetically friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pinch of salt. Okay. That's not a lot of sugar for the amount of salad we're making. No. Small batches. Yep. Oh, look how the color deepens when you add that yeah. vinegar. Beautiful. So this is our vinaigrette. We'll add the roasted uh, corn and squash. And then what kind of beans do you use in this? Could I use any kind of beans? Well, usually I use a black bean just to give pop the color of the orange oh, okay. and the yellow and the green of the vinaigrette. Just for some co yeah. color contrast. But a really nice one could be like a turtle bean or a pinto bean that I've That's used cool. in the past. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Our squash has a beautiful color on it in the corn. What next? Now, next we're gonna throw, add our, uh, our three sisters, toss it in the vinaigrette, let it chill, let it marinate, let it absorb. Okay. Let them hang out together for yeah. a while, eh? Let everyone get to know each other at the party. <laughs> Ooh, I've never done this. Nice trick. Oh my goodness. Well, the cooks have a term in the kitchen. They call it kirking it. Kirking it? Yeah. Grabbing okay. pans out of the oven without gloves. I will not be doing mm. that. I have enough scars. Mm. Mm, so pretty. 
So we're using brown beans, did you use black beans, pinto beans? Whatever beans. I thought beans. you could even use lentils if you used a sturdy lentil. Yes, green lentils will hold up nice. Does Add that, in a different color. Does that count as one of the sisters? It's a legume? <laughs> it, it could be. It can be served warm or cold. A warm salad on a cold winter's day. Perfect in Saskatchewan. Exactly. Oh, that looks just beautiful. It's comforting, it's refreshing, just the right amount of acid and heat with that little bit of pepper. I love it. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much for cooking with canola today and having me in the kitchen here at Dakota Dunes. And thank you for visiting us. Thank you.